Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. Um, I had a very happy 40th birthday. Um, my birthday was Sunday, January 22nd. And anyway, um, it was good. If any of my family or friends are listening to this video, I want to say thank you. Um, you guys did an awesome job tricking me. I had a surprise 40th birthday party. And um, I, I love surprises. And I was the one surprised this time. So thank you guys very much. Um, this morning, this morning, I would like to discuss this morning um, about full truckload versus LTL versus consolidation and partials. Full truckload versus LTL versus consolidation and partials. Okay, so if you're not in the trucking industry or you haven't taken a training class yet, um, which by the way, we EK Management offers, um, you may kind of be lost on this video. But um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about full truckload versus LTL versus again, con consolidation and partial loads. Okay, so the full truckload world consists of any trailer that you see that's typically 53 foot, um, whether they be reefer, drive-in, or flatbeds. You'll have people argue with you and say, well, 26 foot is in the full truckload family. And until you're dispatching or you're brokering in the full truckload world, you'll realize that a 26 foot truck is not in the full truckload world. Um, but anyway, and I'll explain in a minute. So when I look, when we look at the full truckload world, we're looking at those 53 foot drive-ins, trailers, reefer, even 48 feet. It's um, not a lot of 48 foot drive-ins or reefers around right now, um, but there are 48 foot flatbeds. Of course, most flats come in 48. So anyway, um, that's what we're talking about when we're looking at full truckload. Um, now, Legally, statistically, um, for instance, a drive-in can scale 45,000 pounds worth of cargo, and that's legal. A reefer can scale 43,500 worth of cargo, and that's legal. Um, and then a flatbed is 48,000 pounds worth of cargo, and that's legal. I'm not talking about the whole, the gross weight or any of those type of things or axle weight or anything. I'm just talking about cargo weight right now. Um, anyway, so... That's your full truckload world. All right, so a full truckload world typically would mean that me as a broker or me as a dispatcher or even as a owner of a trucking company or as a driver, you know, I'm going to pick up a load that's going to take up most of my trailer and it's going to take up predominantly, I would say, anywhere between 10,000 to 45,000 pounds of my trailer. Okay, that's your typical full truckload. Now, there's something that's called LTL, less than truckload, LTL. The LTL world is complicated. I love LTL. A lot of brokers, um, you'll notice that either they'll deal with full truckload or LTL. A lot of people don't cross over into both. Um, I've told you guys before all my videos, you know, when I did this, when I was brokering and dispatching and things, I kind of, you know, if one thing was slow, I was trying to jump into something else and learn it, you know, and figure out how I can pick up income in that area. And then when that area slows down, I can go back over to this area you know um, so anyway um, LTL basically less than truckload um, the long and the short of it if you ever see your trucking companies like SIA, Old Dominion, um, Conway those type of companies they're what we call LTL providers true LTL providers true LTL provider a true LTL provider is basically a, co a company they're known as common carriers common carriers and what they do is they have their trailer 
um, it's easy when I have a board to teach this. So um, if you're interested in going through one of my training classes and kind of learn more detail about LTL, I'll definitely, you know, um, I offer those type of courses. But anyway, um, so the way that LTL works is those companies, let's say that I have three pallets. If I have three pallets, why on earth would I need a full truckload for just my little three pallets? Um, so if I have three pallets here in Kansas City and then the office down the street has five pallets, why on earth do they need a big 53-foot trailer for their five pallets? So basically, LTL companies, what they do is they pick up my three, they pick up her four, her six, her seven, put them all together, take them to a hub, and then begin to deliver them, deliver them throughout the United States. That's the quick YouTube version of it. <laughs> um if you're a picky person and you know all about LTL and you know about class and all of that, talk to me, you know, because I know about that stuff too. It's just, um, I don't have time to explain it this morning and I don't want to get anybody to, you know, con you can get overwhelmed with this stuff, you know, but anyway, um, so in the world of true LTL, um, it's based on classification, based on weight, based upon den density, as far as the rate that you're charged. But of course, you're not going to be charged the same rate opposed to if you get a full truck. Um, again, there's more in detail training about that. Now, this is the part, this is like the meat of the whole video, because I've been talking to a lot of owner ops and a lot of dispatchers about consolidation. And I'm like, have you guys thought about consolidating? And I get so many times, well, what is that? Guys that have been in the industry a long time, well, what is that? Well, it's only the biggest thing happening in California on the West Coast right now. <laughs> um, that's how so many of those guys are moving their trucks and they're making really, really good money because they've learned consolidation and they're, California is like their own little truck nation out there, you know, but anyway, and they've learned this consolidation and they got the game and they are just like running with it. Um, but anyway, what consolidation is, basically the long and the short of it is there's a couple ways you can do it similar to like an LTL provider where you can say okay my truck is for contract I'm not a common carrier I'm not going to go into classifications all those type of things but if you have four pallets if you have five pallets that need to be picked up I can pick it up and then you go down, you figure out how you can get five or six pallets from another company or five or six pallets from another company and things like that. And basically you're turning into an LTL provider. Now to do that, to do that, um, you, it definitely takes patience. It takes understanding your lane. You need to get one specific lane. Don't try to consolidate all over America. You get one specific lane because most of the time clients that have five pallets this week, guess what? They're probably going to have the same five pallets next week, same five pallets the week after that or whatever. And that's how you can get your consistent clientele growing. Um, of course, if you have this big 53 foot trailer, it's going to take time to build up that consolidation, you know, to put those pallets together and this and that and it might require renting out warehouse spacing and things like that again and training that I do I talk more about that another way of consolidating is um, getting more into your larger consolidations um, where let's say for instance um, and this is like a skill you have to know this skill um, again that's where you got to have a specific lane built but basically you understand that you know you're looking for loads that are like under 25,000 pound loads and um, you're looking for loads that are going to be stackable on pallets why because those type of loads don't take up the whole trailer but it can still you can still rate it out as a full truck load if you have a 15,000 pound load going and let's say it's load of um, dog food or something like that, you know what I'm saying? 15,000 pounds in a shipper's eyes and in a freight broker eyes, that's a full truckload rate. You know, so you can still charge a full truckload rate and then you go find you a second load that maybe they have um, 20,000 pounds. 
And the you have to, again, you have to know your commodities. You got to know how it is. You have to know the delivery times. It's very, very precise, very, very detailed, very, very analyzed. But at the end of the day, guess what? If you were going to charge 3000 for one trip, now you're, put, you're consolidating and you're making $6,000 off of one load opposed to $3,000. Am I making sense to you? Um, so you're sending that truck out with two loads opposed to one load. And so now you got double the amount of money. A drive-in will gross anywhere between eighteen dollars to $30,000 a month, just depending upon you know what type of lanes you do, all of that good stuff or whatever. But anyway... Those little guys in California, they are tearing it up with consolidation. Again, it's kind of, it's very tedious. You have to know it. You have to know your market. You got to know your lanes. You have to start studying. You have to study your commodities. You know, um, I train my dispatchers on consolidation. Some of them can do it. Some of them can't. If they're not good at it, I put them back on full truckload. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, that is my take this morning. And you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for all the views and all the subscribers. I'm like so excited. Anyway, um, I am Elena Kingethi. We are EK Management and Associates. We are located in 8801 East 63rd Street, Suite Number 204 in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, the website is the T H E I N F O at Wait, 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 wait. That's not it. The website is info, info, I N F O at the E K M dot com info at the ekm.com do not judge my website i spend so much time helping other people like grow and develop their business and getting their website done getting their brochures done and things like that that you know we really have neglected ours here at the company but um we're gonna get it together so when you go on don't judge it <laughs> don't say well elena this isn't on there and that's not on there and this and that if you have any questions email us um at info at the ekm.com and the website www.theekm.com. Telephone number is 816-381-7983. 816-381-7983. Excuse me if I'm not good at this whole advertisement thing. Um, I don't know. But anyway, I hope to hear from you guys. We do training, um, coaching, coaching, counseling. We help um, trucking companies and we help businesses get started, do strategic development, operations, and things like that. All right. Have a great day. Bye.